My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. We lift up the name of the Lord. That mighty name, that glorious name. I am no We lift your name, Jesus. We exalt your name, Jesus. We magnify your name. Lift up your two hands to Jesus. Now begin to bless the name of the King of Kings. Thank him for the encounters, the visitations for the past 10 days. He has been good, he has been kind, he's been faithful. Kola Mahasata Sakash. Lift up your voice. Everyone in person, online, lift up your voice. Thank him for these 10 days of empowerment, 10 days of divine visitations. Lift up your voice, give him glory, give him praise. We give you glory. We give you praise. We extol you, Holy Spirit. Thank 
Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. For the entrance of that word, give it light. It give it understanding to the symbol by your special grace tonight. I reach forth into the very heart of my hearers and I make eternal deposit in the name of the Lord Jesus. I thank you for that anointing that makes preaching easy and hearing a delight. We thank you for the release of power, miracles, signs, and wonders. Holy Spirit, thou art greatly welcome. We vow to give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, and everyone shouted a living amen. Will you clap for Jesus? Are you sure you are clapping for my Jesus? Go ahead and add a shout to it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you go ahead and take your seat, please? There is no one like Jesus. I said there is no one like Jesus. Do you believe it? You are sure? Are you convinced? There is no one like him. He is great. He is mighty. He is righteous. Glory be to God. The crowd, they were singing one song. They said that hallelujah is our heavenly language. Revelation 19 verse 1. When you go to heaven, there's two words which they speak. Hallelujah is one of them. I will tell you about the second one. And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven. And what did they say? Can you shout it? What did they say? Hallelujah. They said hallelujah. When they said hallelujah, it meant all that continuum. Because the semicolon is explaining to you what they were trying to say. So much the great voice of much people in heaven and they were saying hallelujah salvation and glory honor and power unto the Lord our God next verse for true and righteous are his judgment for he had judged the great hall which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and had avenged the blood of his sins at her hand next verse and again they said hallelujah and her smoke rose up forever, forever and ever amen when we shout hallelujah, it's simply saying that, praise the Lord. Is that correct? We are praising Jah. We are praising him. Glory be to God. Isaiah 57 verse 19. I want the NIV. Glory be to Jesus. Creating, give me verse 18. I have seen their ways, but I will heal them. I will guide them and restore comfort to Israel's mourners. Creating praise on their lips. Peace. Peace. To those far and near, says the Lord, and I will heal them. Now, it says that he will put praise on their lips. And praise is the, that word, hallelujah. The plan of God is to put on your lips the language of praise. Say praise. praise. That language of praise will lead to the second part, which we we'll talk about. Peace, peace. So when you have the language of praise, it issues into another language. Amen. When you go to every other language, they don't have another word for hallelujah. How do they say hallelujah in Igbo? Japanese. Are you from Japan? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So hallelujah is our help. Let's sing that song again. And you want to sing with meaning and with understanding. The presence of Jesus is right here. There's a very thick cloud of glory here. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord reigned, let the earth tremble. He reigned, let the earth tremble. The Lord reigned, let the earth tremble. He reigned, let the earth tremble. Lift up your voice. The Lord reigned, let the earth tremble. Oh Jesus, we are praising Jesus. The Lord reigned, let the earth tremble. Oh, Lord, have a heart to give us. You reign, Jesus. Let 
Let's go, Marahalas. That is your heavenly language. I am the number of those that are
Le merengo vridi ke shatela na beda kada. Le mana na 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 grunglas. Le mana na 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 hosa sas. Kumba ba 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 ngetele ketelo ba 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 lega gashadas. There is a release of fresh tongues. I see the release of fresh tongues on many people. You might not never have spoken in tongues before, but you see that your tongue is bubbling. It's fresh tongues. Some of you, your tongues has been upgraded. Fresh tongues, I see. The release of fresh tongues upon that tongue is fresh. Marahadas. Le rehong grishtes. Le rehong gredes. Lo rong Speak in tongues if you can. Le rong There is a stirring. Le rong lata li regateketes. Le rong of regatelegres. Le kombra katelego kabahanga fehes. Somebody, you are tapping into fresh wells, fresh wells of glory. Leko hagas, keke heke digias, kona maka hangedes, ve leke kete ke higas, ve ve heke teke le runga bahas, koma braha gradas, le papala dadadas. Le pangata le le lengra aga auses. Le pangata le ba kombra ta le beka deges. Le pango pangata lo gaba has. Lo baba rababa le ba daga has. Le prante le grombros. Le reglo koto le brada dadas. Hey la na na no no si adala la la. E pangata le 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 rongar adala la la. Le marango vrenga tele ba 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 la ba ba has. Le ronga vrenga vale ba ba la ba has. Le rengo vrenga tele ba ba le ba ka shada da. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you praise, Jesus. We love you so much that you are here with us, precious Holy Spirit. We receive grace and more grace in Jesus' name. And everyone shouted a blessed amen. amen. Do you love Jesus? And are you blessed? Are you sure you are blessed? Very blessed? Amen. We thank God for bringing us to the end of the 10 day fast. Will you clap for Jesus? Amen. Amen. The Bible said God never asks us to seek him in vain. It's not possible. Isaiah 45 verse 19. It's not possible to seek God and remain the same if it was god you sought it's not possible i have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth i said not unto the seed of jacob seek ye me in vain i said not to them god did not tell us to fast for fasting sake no if it was just i, I don't think i would do i don't know about you but if it was just to fast i won't fast or will you fast if it was just of hello oh will you so fast Hello, let me see. Some people for the other benefit. Which one is it? Now, when you don't have to lose weight, what do you have to do? When you don't have to lose weight, will you fast? Yes. <laughs> but any time we see God, there's a definite benefit. And you want to be sure that you are not living the same. Decide not to be the same after. Even if you are behaving the same, pretend not to be the same. Is somebody with me? Ecclesiastes 11 verse 3. Oh, the glory of God is here. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. It's a law. When the clouds are full, today it rains. Do you know why? The clouds were full. Yeah. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. If the clouds be full, they will empty themselves upon the earth. And if the tree fall towards the south, or towards the north in the place where the tree falleth there it shall be and by now you know that you are like a tree knowing this principle all you have to do is decide where you want to be and fall there when you fall there the bible said that is where you shall where the tree falleth it shall be there this then is all we did was to push ourselves into a certain region and there we shall where you put yourself that's where you'll be it's not magic it's not like maybe no no he said where the tree will fall it will be there and this ten days as you push yourself as you push yourself 
Somebody called me said that somebody was waking up all the night. <laughs> the person was pushing themselves into a certain place. And where they push themselves, that is where they shall be. And I have no doubt it's a place of glory. Yeah. I said it's a place of glory. Yeah. And you are going to be there till you decide to push yourself to another dimension. Is that, you, it, it means in the realm of the spirit, you can determine your locations. You can decide that this year I will change levels five times. And it's your choice. There is the corporate glory or cloud which is upon all of us. But individuals, there are clouds upon you and you can decide to shift every day, any time, any week, any month. Because where the tree will fall, it shall be there. God will not come and pick it. The devil can pick it. He said, where the tree will fall, it shall be there. And I believe we are falling into a certain place. It's a place of power. It's a place of glory. Thank you, Jesus. There's power in your hands. Look at your hands. Say, there's power in my hands. Say, I've been blessed. I've been energized. I've been empowered. In the name of Jesus. Now, if you believe there's power in your hand, just put it on your eyes. That my eyes open. Say, I see clearly from today. I see clearly in the name of Jesus. See, I see clearly in the name of Jesus. I see clearly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory be to God. I will tell you some few things, then we we'll pray. Then we'll be good to go. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. One of the essential benefits of fasting is to cause your light to break forth. When you fast, there must be the release of light. Isaiah 58 verse 8. When you start from verse 6, he's talking about fasting, but jump to verse 8 for the sake of time. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and your health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy rare reward. So when you fast, your light will break forth. Now, it is important that your light breaks forth because in the kingdom of God, you don't rise except by light. I repeat. You don't rise in the kingdom except by light. You don't try. You don't flourish. You don't get secured. You are not saved. You don't reign except by light. How do I know? Isaiah 60 verse 1. He said that, Arise and shine for Arise and shine for thy light has come. So the day your light arrives is the day you arise. Hello? I can't feel you tonight. Don't pretend like you didn't drink soup before coming. Hello? Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Who's always tempting me? <laughs> Arise, child, for thy light is come. It is well. Glory be to God. I've overcome temptation. Arise, child, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. So the glory is risen upon you when your light comes. So when you receive the breaking forth of light, that is when you are rising. Is somebody with me? And when we talk about light in the kingdom, we are talking about knowledge. So the day you get light you get the knowledge of god you rise for you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so we might be waiting for deliverance but deliverance might be waiting for the truth i repeat you might be waiting for a breaking through but that breaking through is waiting for the truth and the day you locate the truth the day your deliverance arrives, whether god is ready or not because it's a law when you locate the truth the truth will produce liberty and the purpose of fasting is to produce light and truth and i have no doubt that this fasting has produced that light the bible said for the light shineth in darkness and the darkness cannot handle it as light has been produced in your life darkness is living i said darkness is living now today's service is just going to be as i'm doing as i speak you must receive because we might close before you realize we have closed. Amen. 
So as we make declarations, this is the time your spirit is very sensitive. Receive it. Because God blesses, he creates by his words. You want to believe in the power of it is written and the power of I hear or I see. I will repeat it. You must believe in the power of it is written than in the power of I hear, I see. We have got the formula wrong. Because if I told you I see, you start shaking and vibrating. But when I say it is written, what is written is written. What is written is a, is a more sure word of prophecy. So you should be excited about what is written than what I saw, I hear. That was what Jesus used. You see, the word needed, it is written. Can I repeat it? Jesus, who is the word? He had to resort to it is written for his deliverance. The word, the word, the one who is the word. He needed it is written. How much more you? That was a prophet, give me a word. The word needed it is written. Go for the is written. Stop saying, I need a word. I need a word. A word. Sure, God, give me a sure word. word. Say it is written. It is written. <laughs> Say it is written. Shout it is written. Arise, shine for your light is come. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. The entrance of his word produces light. And that light shines in darkness. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to God. As I meditated today what to do, I was not sure whether to do prayer meeting or not. But God spoke to me clearly. When I say God spoke to me clearly, I'm sure he spoke to me clearly. And he says that let's come into a covenant of peace. Say covenant of peace. And that's what we are going to talk about. The best thing which will happen to you today is that you will enter into a realm of peace. Say a realm of peace. I pray that you get what I'm about to tell you because you need it to live. And I'm happy that God gave that one to us as the benefit of the fast. When we seek him, he will talk to us. And when he speaks his word, you enter a well. Because by his word, the wells were created. Anytime you hear one word, know that it's a portal you have entered a well. How I wish I could be a cartoon. Because they can enter into wells easily. By the word of God, you enter into wells. For by faith, we understand that the wells were framed by the word of God. So, as we conclude the fast as a church and as individuals, be conscious that you have entered a world. And that world is called the world of peace. As I was just meditating on it, and suddenly a song dropped into my spirit. He's my peace. I sent it to the choir. I was just singing it. Then, I was just thinking, maybe let me just come and do open prayer. And let just prayer. But the Holy Ghost will bring the song to my heart again. Then, he started teaching me what to tell you tonight. What I'm going to share. Then, just to confirm to me, the song, I've not listened to it in a long time. Where's my phone? Then, one of my friends is a prophet in Ghana. He sent me a message. He said, have you heard about the dying of this man, Lionel Peterson. I said, ah, which I don't know him. I, I can, you can check the chart here. I said, I don't know him. He said that, ah, how can I describe him to you? He sang the song, He is My Peace. I said, you can't believe that I'm just singing the song and I'm preparing a message on peace. I, I sent a screenshot of my nose to the guy. Glory be to Jesus. I couldn't be, look, look at it. If Pastor Martin you, you might think that. <laughs> this lady believe believe her because look, look at it. Look at it. I already sent one person. There's a big man of God in California. It's called Bill Johnson. The, the wife died today. So I sent that picture to him. Then later on, he sent this one. Read. No, read, read this one. Read this one. <laughs> Just read this one. Yes. I know Peterson. Yes. No, I don't know him all. <laughs> Who is he? He was the one who 
Columbus sang, Jehovah sees, Jehovah knows. Then I sent my nose. Then I called him. So this one is Dr. Sorry. <laughs> Clap for her. The moment he said that, then light came. And God said that he's bringing us into a covenant of peace. Amen. Shout the covenant of peace. The covenant of peace. I, I wanted to say that statement. I won't say, I'm not here to encourage you. I'm telling you what God said. You want to enter into that covenant consciously. Because it is something he's done, but it's a realm he's bringing you to. Are you ready? Are you sure? Ezekiel 34, verse 25. You see, when we were growing up, I don't know about you, when they wanted to give you capsules, we couldn't swallow it. So at times, they would open it and put it in liquid and you drink it. Do you remember? Is it no surprise you could eat, you could eat, but you could swallow, but you couldn't swallow a capsule? Is it not amazing? But since you couldn't swallow, they would open it up and give you the content. I'm praying that as I'm talking, you will not hear the capsule, but the content will enter your spirit. I pray that you get the light of it because it will change your life and your destiny. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let me read a testimony to you. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm, which one? Let me read this one. I'll read another one. It says, Shalom, Pastor Mark. Thank you for leading us through this period of fasting and prayer. Aside from miracles and testimonies, thank you for helping us get stronger in our faith. How many people have grown in their faith? This thing must be your basic line. Your faith in God should grow. He said, and teaching us to discipline our bodies and our spirit man. So if there was no miracle, we didn't get any testimony, your spirit should have been emboldened. Is that correct? Yes, Pastor. This one to you. To God be the glory. I took another certification during this fasting period and passed on my first attempt. You might think that, oh, what is the point? Let me read it to you. Something I couldn't say prior to joining CPIM. I had attempted and failed nine times in a period of nine years. In a period of two years. My depression and frustration was at an all-time high. When I joined CPI in September 2019, now I can proudly say that I have three certifications back to back to back, which I passed on first attempts. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is that realm I just want to introduce you today. There's a realm you can enter where what fought you before you become in charge. Is somebody with me? Yes. And you want to believe it and live with it, live by it, let it be your lifestyle. When you have the tool and you don't use it, no one can help you. But I pray that you get this tool and use it in Jesus' name, amen. And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and I will cause the evil beast to cease out of their land. So, the first benefit of the covenant of peace is that God Himself will cause the evil beast to seize out of your life. Lift up your right hand. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the evil beast. The evil beast. Around my life. Around my life. By the covenant of peace. The covenant of you seize in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said, and they shall dwell safely in the wilderness. You will be in the wilderness, but you shall be safe. Say, I enter into safety. Shout, I am secure. I am secure. I am saved. I am saved by the covenant of peace. By the covenant of peace. I am saved. I am saved. So you see, the first benefit is that you are going to enter into a place where God will handle the beast out of your life. Number two, you are going to walk in safety, security, preservation. And there was dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. Next. I will make them and the places run about them a heel of my goodness. God is saying that where you live there are days he will change your location. But he says that this time where you live, he will make it a hill of blessing. Say where I live, 
where I live. It's a mountain. It's a mountain. It's a hill. It's a hill of blessing. Of blessing. Say my house. My house is going to be. Is going to be a hill of blessing. A hill of blessing. This church. This church is a hill of blessing. A hill of blessing. My children. My children. They dwell. on the hill of blessing. Hill of blessing. Wherever I go. Wherever I go. Their business. is a mountain. It's a mountain. It's a hill. It's a hill of blessing. Of blessing. Ah. And I will cause the shower to come down in his season. And there shall be showers of blessing. blessing. Say there shall be, there shall be showers, showers of, blessing. of blessing. I want you to believe this words because it is written. Believe it with your heart. This is not motivation. That's how we lead with the word of God as a person. That God said my mountain will be a mountain of blessing. I believe it. I see it. I expect it. It doesn't matter what you hear or see or hear tomorrow. It is irrelevant because it is written. written. There shall be showers of blessing. And the tree of the field shall yield her fruit. Can you see fruitfulness? And the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be saved in their land. And shall know that I am the law. When I have broken the bands of their yoke. You see deliverance. And deliver them out of the hand of those that serve themselves of them can you imagine that one covenant of peace brings you everything go back go back let's begin to list what you saw with the covenant of peace verse 25 by the covenant of peace he he, he dealt he deals with the enemy say he is dealing with the enemy, He's with the enemy. then he brings safety yes. number two safety number three I will make them and the place around about a hill of blessing. So there is a blessing in the covenant of peace. Yes. Say dealing with the enemy. Dealing with the enemy. Safety. Safety. The blessing. The blessing. Next verse. He said fruitfulness. Say fruitfulness. Fruitfulness. And the earth shall yield her increase. And they shall be saved. Safety again. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord. When I have broken the bands of their yoke and delivered them. Say deliverance. Deliverance. So one covenant of peace. What did it produce? It produced everything for you. Because whatever you need in this life is in that covenant of peace. Because there is blessing, there is deliverance. There is safety, there is fruitfulness. fruitfulness. There is the dealing with of the adversary for you. Be conscious of this truth. He repeats the same thing in Ezekiel 37 verse 26. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them and it shall be an everlasting covenant with them and I will place them and multiply them can you see multiplication and I will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore can you see the divine presence yes now begin to list what you have right now by adding multiplication and divine presence to it peace yes some people are not writing notes. Yes. Yes. Somebody said that when I go, I will go and listen to it. You know it's not true because the last three months you have not listened to that one. I want you to get this thing and walk in the consciousness of it because it's real, it's true. And I will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. Next verse. Next verse. My tabernacle also shall be with them. Yea, I will be their God and they shall be my people and it comes by the covenant of peace what is this peace i talk about in romans 14 verse 17 the bible talks about the kingdom of god he says that the kingdom of god is not in food meat and drink it's not in food meat and drink when we were fasting we were making a declaration we were quoting the bible for the kingdom of god is not meat and drink so when you fast you are saying that the kingdom of god is not you are not here you are not here when you are fasting, you are quoting a Bible verse without quoting it. <laughs> Does it make sense? Your lifestyle, the way you are living, is saying that ah, won't you eat the kingdom of God is not food, it's not meat and drink. Won't you drink some? No, the kingdom of God. So by you denying yourself, you were making a declaration that the kingdom of God is not meat and drink. But what is it? So when you are fasting, you are saying that. I live in the kingdom of God. It's not this meat and drink. It is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So all these 10 days, if 
even if we never prayed by revelation you can be going up and down and you are saying that i walk in righteousness i walk in peace i walk in joy in the holy ghost by understanding i i told you the other day that fasting alone is powerful even if you don't pray fasting is powerful because esther said go and fast for me esther never said go and pray for me so fasting alone is powerful because fasting is a statement in the realm of the spirit the kingdom of god is not eba and banku and jollof rice but it is righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost this vast kingdom of god there are three main pillars and one of the significant one is what i call peace the bible said peace and it said all these things is is in the holy ghost say the holy ghost now go to Isaiah 54 for me, verse 1. Oh, I love Jesus. Sing, oh, barren. For the sake of time, I'm, I will not be able to read. But the whole Isaiah 54 talks about righteousness, peace, and joy. The whole chapter talks about righteousness, peace, and joy. The first part talks about joy. Then the peace is in the middle. Then the righteousness is in the down part. Let me just bring your light to it. Sing, O oh barren, that did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, that did not travel with child. For more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife, saith the Lord. So the first part is talking about when you sing and you rejoice, the benefit of it. It goes down to verse 9. For the sake of time, go to verse 9 for me. For this is as the waters of Noah unto me. For as I have sworn that the waters of Noah should no more go over the earth, so have I sworn that I will not be angry with thee, nor rebuke thee. So, we read verse 1 to verse 9. He talked about joy and the benefits of joy. Then, right in verse 10, he enters into the benefits of peace. Verse 10. For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of mine peace be removed. Say the Lord that had mercy on thee. So, he finished with the joy and talks about his covenant of peace. And what would that do? Next verse. Oh, thou afflicted, tossed and tempest, and not comforted. Behold, I will lay thy stones with fair colors, and lay thy foundation with sapphire. Next. And I will make thy windows of agates, and thy gates of carbuncles, and all thy borders of pleasant stones. Beautiful. Now he enters into righteousness. What do righteousness do? Verse 14. And in righteousness thou shalt be established. And thou shalt be far from oppression. For thou shalt not fear. And from terror. For it shall not come near thee. Behold. That they shall surely gather together. But not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against thee. Shall fall for thy sake. They are the benefits of righteousness. Next verse. Behold. I created the smith. That blew the coals in the fire. And bring it forth an instrument for his work. And I have created a waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every time that shall rise against thee in judgment, that shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of God. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So, that verse we confess that uh, no weapon is talking about the righteousness of the kingdom. That is what it will do for you. But today we are focusing on the peace of God because he is bringing us into a covenant of peace. Say a covenant of peace. Say I enter into a covenant of peace. Listen to me. Covenants are enacted with blood and by words. Today we don't have to share blood again because Jesus shed his blood for us once for all time. That's how we don't have to be killing ghosts and animals and human beings again. So we have the foundation of the blood of Jesus. And all that we need is light and declaration. So as I preach, make sure you use your mouth because by your words, you are entering into that covenant consciously. I show you all with me. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every time that shall rise against in judgment, thou shall condemn. Now, when we talk about peace, what is peace? Peace is bigger than all that you have ever imagined. In our mind, we just think that peace is, oh, no, we are not fighting. That is the smallest portion. Oh, there's, there's peace in this place. It's part, but when the Bible uses peace, it's big. The Hebrew word they use is called shalom. Say shalom. shalom. Mm. Say shalom. shalom. The reason why we greet in this church is shalom is not because we want to be different. 
because that is how they greet in heaven the gospel is the gospel of shalom we are not trying to be nice by saying shalom so at times some people have said the shalom people Ooh, when I hear that I, I, I sing a song for them I won't sing the song say shalom I'm I, I, I finished fasting so I'm trying to be disciplined yes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed if um, you were blessed by this video make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend and also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also, if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ, ask the Lord and personal Savior. I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.